I've made some of the biggest and most important sales of our season so far, and it's going to result in us maxing out one of the most important and essential enchants. So let's get right into today's episode. Yes, hello, everybody, and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prisons. Today, of course, we are back here on Akum MC, the best, number one rated Minecraft Prisons ever. Back again for another episode in this season. Guys, today, I have some news. I have some actually massive news because we've essentially made the biggest sale that we ever have here on the server, and it's going to be huge for our progression today. So as you'll see, I've still not mined up to the 300,000 blocks. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. Um, But essentially what I have done is I've sold some of the items that were just chilling in my PV, you know, from the different bundles and crates and stuff that we've gotten recently. And it has resulted in an absolute, like, insane amount of tokens, which I'm going to go over here in just a second. I have actually, as I promised, got myself one of the brand new bundles from the store as well. So we're going to be opening that today as well as, of course, you guys know what that means. It means we're going to give away some to you guys as well. Now, one of the notable things about this bundle this week is that you do actually get the masterful pet egg with it as well as tier three crystal boxes and detachment boxes and you also get diamond mystery vaults as well so it's actually a super super cool like weekly like crate thing like i don't know getting all this stuff for 25 dollars when like one crate is 20 dollars anyway is pretty cool so i'm excited to see what we actually get out of it i do hope that we can finally finally get the masterful pet that we're looking for which i believe i can't even remember which which one it is. It's the one that's opposite to this one. So whatever the other one is. I think it's the dual miner pet is the one we're looking for. Um, hopefully we can get that today. I don't think we will, but you know what? We'll have to see. Um, and then we'll see exactly what I'm going to give away as well and what enchant it is that we're going to be maxing out today. So without further ado, let's reveal our pet egg and see whether we can get the one that we're after. It will probably not, but we'll give it a good go. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Nope, definitely the wrong skin for it. Lucky Shard Pet. I think we've actually got a few of those going now. Um, unfortunately, again, not what we're after, but that's okay. Tier 3 Crystal Box. Let's open these and see what we get. A Rank Up Crystal and a Token Crystal. I don't know, but I think I've got... Yes, I do have actually other Rank Up Crystals as well. So we could actually go ahead into slash Crystals right here. And we can merge them into an even better tier. So let's see what that'll do for us. A 33% boost. That's actually horrific for a tier 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. 37% boost is way better. Let's go into our slash crystals and see which one I have applied right now. I have the gem crystal applied right now. I'm going to take it out and I'm actually going to replace it with the rank up just because it's tier four. And I feel like it's, I don't know, we might as well have the most efficient thing on. Um, it does look like we're one gem crystal away from being able to actually upgrade to a tier four on that as well. So if we need to do that, then we can. Um, we've got some attachment boxes here, tier three attachment boxes. We're looking, I think, for like jackhammer and uh, whatever else we can get out of that. Unfortunately, not what we're looking for there. Um, attachable, that's, uh, I guess that is kind of what we want today. Uh, attachments here. So what do we have in here? Do we already have Guardian? Okay, so we do. So we can put that one in. That's an upgrade there. And then we've got the Meteor attachment as well, which we already have by the looks of it. Wait, no. Meteor. Okay, we don't have Meteor in there, but we don't actually have an additional slot right now. So that's all good. I can save those in the PV. Very nice. Right, let's open up our V-Kit crate as well. See if we can get something insane out of this jackpot item. We're going to get ourselves more epic robots we'll take those those will do we don't complain about those and we get 24 robot gens also in that so let's go ahead and uh, claim all of those making sure all of our afk income is coming in as quick as it can do we will open up uh we'll ignore the celestial things for now we'll open up these mystery vaults you never know what you might get out of these this should juice up the tokens quite nicely we get some token booster vouchers as well some ultra drills in that one five dollar store cube on there that's actually huge out of a uh a pet fragment as well wow these are these are really good mystery vault diamonds these are insane actually um we're getting some really good things here to get that five dollar coupon as well is huge uh considering the whole bundle only cost me uh five uh twenty five dollars i mean in hours only cost me 20 so that's pretty cool um let's see if we can get one more in the last one we don't we do get some night fury skins that's fine we'll take that let's reveal our booster vouchers see if we can get any two times oh we do the first one we get is a two times 17 minutes 1.5 and a 1.8 so we're not going to be using those ones not a bad little collection of items to be honest so uh, we will take that i'm going to go ahead and open up the electro crate which is the brand new one for this week and then we'll announce the giveaway to see what i can give to you guys today as well let's uh let's pop this one down over here and see what kind of jackpot items we can get oh it's invisible oh no it's not it's just in the corner let's see jackpot item is going to be more diamond mystery vaults you know what we'll take it that's not the bad thing as we saw they were pretty overpowered so i'm not too opposed to having those we'll open them up we've only got six of them though so i guess 
Realistically, it wasn't the best thing in the world, but that's okay. We'll see what we can get out of these six. Maybe if we get another $5 store coupon, that'll be clutch. We do get some attachment boxes. I think I've got some like level, yeah, a whole bunch here of level one attachment boxes. I'm going to put these away because we don't really need those. Might open up all of these level one attachment boxes because thinking about it now, um, we could actually combine them all and get really good things. We get some shadow clone skin fragments. We won't ever say no to those. Still, still on our way to getting those maxed out. Hopefully we can do it very, very soon here. Loads of room points coming in here. Loads of tokens as well. There's more shadow clone fragments coming in. And that is that. Let's apply those. So attachment wise, what are we looking for right now? Um, I guess like the best thing that we could upgrade would be a jackhammer attachment, which means we need to get like six more out of these 14 crates, which is probably not going to happen. We did start off well there. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just see how many we can actually get and combine out of these. Um, and then we'll see whether we've got an upgrade or not. Probably not. I'm going to say there's no way that we get six out of the one crate. Um, but we'll give it a good go. Um, we have at least got three, I think. Yes, we do have at least have three. So let's go into attachments. Let's merge these. One, two, and three. That will give us one of those. What do we have else in here? We've got two vein miners. Do I have a spare vein miner that I could um, that I could attach? Doesn't look like I do. Um, that's okay. All right. Well, we don't have a spare vein miner, so we'll chuck those ones in there for now. I guess the next one to look at would be Prestige Finder. We've got one, two. Do we have a third anywhere? I don't think we do. I think I actually sold it last video, which was an idea. And now looking back at it, <laughs> that's okay. We'll store it all away. Um, it's all good stuff. We'll probably um, we'll probably get some more very very soon anyway, and then we will be able to upgrade those. Now, one thing that I have just noticed is very, very interesting is that we have negative money. I don't know if you guys have seen that over in the right hand corner. We actually have negative 204 trill. So that's always good. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. That's interesting, but it's okay because it's not money that we're actually interested in using today. It's going to be the tokens to max out a very, very important enchant. But before we do that, let's talk about the giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be giving away to you a package of three of the bundles in which I just opened. The, the, the All of that stuff which I just opened was included in the bundle. So I'm going to be giving away to one lucky person three of those bundles, okay? Worth $65. All you guys need to do to be given the chance of winning that is like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your username, and then join the giveaways only Discord link down below and press the enter button in there. As long as you've done all that, you're officially entered into that huge, huge giveaway because that is a very expensive giveaway and it's it's full of pretty insane stuff as you guys have seen today. So yes, you definitely want to be getting in that. Now, on to how many tokens I actually have. So right here, I've got sat 30Q. Now this was from selling a, I think it was a companion V-Kit shard. We sold it for probably a lot less than it's actually worth because I then realized that I had a Christmas V-Kit shard. For which we sold for 120Q, which means today we've got 160Q to spend and I've already checked the enchant that I want to max out and conveniently enough, we have plenty to max it out. So I'm excited for that. Let's go in and do it right now. It's going to be the prestige merchant enchant, which means that my gem should be coming in the quickest that they have ever come in thanks to that. So uh, prestige finder, prestige merchant. Now the duo of enchants have been completely maxed out and we also have 46 Q to spare, which is going to go on a whole range of different enchants today. I think um, I do need to check to see exactly what enchants we've got left over. But the good news is, of course, about the gems and about how quickly those will now be coming in. That is uh, that is essentially the speediest we will have uh, we we will have been gaining gems thanks to those upgrades. So with 46 Q left over, what do we have left? Well, we have uh, we we did max out Napalm Strike last video, thankfully, because we managed to get there just right at the end. Um, then we've got Zeus is next up. Okay, he's actually quite cheap. He's only going to cost me eight Q, so uh, we wouldn't have to bankrupt ourselves there. We got Guardian's Beam that would then cost us 14 Q which uh, again, wouldn't wouldn't technically break the bank, but you know, those are two fairly interesting enchants. Then we've got Quiver, which is a brand new one, which actually would cost me a lot of money. Um, that one would cost me 30Q, but it would max it out. So it would be another maxed out one. And then that would be it. I mean, we don't have another enchant available until we hit 300. So realistically, do we just go ham here and max this out? Because what would this do? 8Q here. Then how much did I say the other one was? Yeah, so maxing both of those out would cost me more than I'd be able to like do to max out Quiver. So let's do Quiver first. Let's max that out first of all, because that's like an expensive enchant. So theoretically, it's good. Um, hopefully, hopefully that's the reality of it. Um, and then what do we do? Do we do Zeus? I think we've got a challenge for Zeus. So I'm going to just do Zeus based on the fact that I know we have a challenge for it somewhere, somehow. I'm sure I've seen it. We'll do that. 
Then we've got 8Q left over. We may as well just throw it straight into Guardian's Beam. We've got literally no other enchants that we need to focus on, token-wise at least, um, until, until our next one at 300 pickaxe level. I think it might have been in here, actually. Yes, Zeus level 50. We can now upgrade the ammo quality of this. We've done Vein Miner results. We can do that. Black Hole, we've not quite maxed out. Um, that one's going to get to 500. Is that not a gem enchant? I'm pretty sure it is. It is. Do we have enough to max it? We don't quite have enough to max it, but that's okay. We'll get it up there. We're now only 82 million gems away from maxing out Black Hole. Now, I don't think I've been on enough to uh, to have enough in my robots. No, I don't. I've got 100 and... Uh, oh, I've got 14 million or whatever that was there. So we can get a little bit closer, I think. How many levels? Five levels closer. So that we're only 30, no, 23 levels away now from maxing out Black Hole. And then that'll be another upgrade to this beautiful little, uh, beautiful little thing. Now, I believe because we've also hit rank 500, I think that was actually one of my challenges. Yes, it was. So we can complete that one. And then we can take a look at what the next one is. So Napalm Strike to 500, which we've done. Reach Pickaxe Level 100, which we've done. Uh, reach level 15 on a pet, which we have done. Uh, and then mine 130,000 blocks, which actually does sound like a hard challenge, but it's super easy because we know that drills work for that. So let's pull out a bunch of drills. All the other challenges should theoretically auto complete. But what I will do is I'm going to apply one pet candy to this pet to upgrade its level by one. Uh, because sometimes it doesn't activate it and doesn't realize. But there we go. That's that one done. I believe we have Napalm Strike, right? Do, do we have Napalm Strike? I'm sure that... Yes, that was the one that we maxed out last episode, I'm pretty sure. So, let's refresh this mine. Let's get these all placed down now, because this should theoretically do the challenge for Blocks Mind. It'll also help us out in our Battle Pass challenges. Those also uh, count for those Blocks Mines, so... Kind of we're, we're, we're killing two birds with one stone here. I think that's the saying. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. So th this should hopefully help out both of those things. I think that my battle pass challenges, though, are significantly higher than 100,000 blocks mined. Um, I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure the one that came out this week is literally like 700,000 blocks mined. So we're going to be a little bit away from that one, but that, that, that's perfectly fine with me. As long as we can get this challenge done, because it is actually like a requirement to upgrade our mortar again, I believe. Um, so we're kind of heavily focusing here on this mortar. Now, obviously, up until this point of the season, the mortar hasn't really been that effective for us. It's not really done a lot, but I think it's all to do with that that level, that upgrade that we're going to get at the blocks mine 300,000. So it's uh, it's going to be beneficial for us to uh, to upgrade everything else in the mortar until that point, because I believe that will increase the proc chance. So at least when it procs, it will actually be like good and meaningful procs. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> that's that's what we can hope for. But let's see where we're now at challenges wise, because that should hopefully complete it. Yes, it does. It literally completes it right there. Boom. Uh, done. So that challenge is now already complete by the looks of it. So we'll move straight on to the next one here. Don't really know what the reward is. It's probably nothing insane. It is six silver mystery bolts. Yeah, nothing crazy. Um, so the next one is going to include rank hitting rank 600. We've obviously only just hit rank 500. So that one is going to have to wait a little while. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. But I think it will be, yeah, it's literally the last one that we have to do in order to get the multiplier upgrade for the mortar. Cool. So let's see where, it, like, if we have a battle pass challenge, it might even be week four that might now be close. 80% done on week four now. So not quite there. Um, let's see if we've got week three. Did we do week three already? I feel like we might have done. Yeah, it looks like we have done. Oh, and also, before I started recording today, I actually managed to do one of the chat reactions things. It was completely, like, fluke. I didn't mean to do it at all. It just, everyone was getting the answer wrong, and it was one of the math ones. It was literally, like, 340 add 40 or something, and for some reason, everyone was typing, like, 400 and something, and yeah, I don't know. I, I got it, okay? So, that is contributing towards all of those challenges in the battle pass that you have to complete three chat reactions. I've now officially done one. So, uh, you know, you never know. I might get lucky uh, <laughs> in the future. We might be able to complete another one. You never know. So with all that said and done, we are now officially only 30,000 blocks mined away from that 300,000 uh, kind of uh, milestone that we've been going for and to do the mortar and everything. So hopefully by next episode, in fact, you know, I'm going to say it by next episode, we're going to have that amount of blocks mined. We're going to see exactly the effect and it's going to be funny because I don't think we'll even see a proc in that video, <laughs> but hopefully we will and we'll be able to see the actual effect of the upgrades that we've made to the mortar and it will be huge for us so other than that because that's been our big focus over the last couple of episodes other than that i would really really like to try and get to rank a thousand this season i don't realistically know the reality of that we're doing everything we can rank up wise to get the ranks so it's just going to be a case of like continuing to mine and do 
do like hours of mining. That is literally going to be it. The tokens are kind of coming in and they're not too bad. We've got a lot of stuff that we can sell. We've got a lot of like trading leverages and stuff. So it's not like the end of the world token wise. I know our token income isn't massive right now. Um, our, gem, our gem income, obviously that's stuff that we have to do by ourselves. There's You can't trade gems. So we just got to kind of earn that by mining. I mean, now that we've upgraded Prestige Finder and Prestige Merchant to max level, we should see a lot more gems coming in. Obviously, we've got those gem enchants that are still wandering about, like the Frozen Gorge and stuff that we also need to add more levels into, because this one is probably the most important one for gems. But to be honest with you, with a rare proc chance as it has, and like the amount of gems it costs to upgrade it, I don't know the reality of actually getting that to max level anytime soon. Because I mean, how much does it say it will cost? Like, yeah, 20 billion gems. I don't think we've had a billion gems this whole season. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to cost a lot. Getting ever closer to maxing out Black Hole as well. 483. So we've only got another, what, eight, 17 levels there. And then we'll be uh, we'll be maxed out on that one. So yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're maxing things out now. It is coming. Also, I just did slash vote and it like put me battle up battle passes like loads of tears. So let's go and claim all the rewards that it just gave me. I don't know why it just did that. I guess it maybe like realizes that I voted over the amount of times that you needed. Um, but that makes us only two tiers away from the uh, the beloved tier 54 that does give us a $10 gift card and a weekly crate. So that's exciting times. Hopefully we can get that here in the next, uh, you know, between now and next episode. I mean, we've got uh, we've got a whole bunch of time to do it, so it should be good. But uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to get there. It'd be cool to get there and maybe even sell the gift card, to be honest with you. I don't know if I even need gift card credit, but it's, uh, it's it, again, it all comes down to the trading leverage. I, I think we're going to be good. Or uh, we're going to be good for tokens just based on that. The only thing I potentially use like tokens for other than enchanting would be to buy like all of the stuff which we need, uh, like like the Shadow Clone skin fragments, for example. But I don't think it's that much of a need that I would go ahead and do that. So yeah, I really don't know. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that while I've been mining, obviously a long time ago, we went over the brand new AFK like mining feature, right? And uh, we, there was a brand new enchant that basically gives you fuel to use in the miner. And I forgot to tell you guys that I have been getting quite a good amount of fuel from mining. And and uh, I've been saving up and basically I got some diamond fuel, which basically gives you a whole 24 hours of AFK time. So what I'm planning to do is actually test how effective that thing is by going ahead and actually leaving my account on for that time. So um, what I'll probably do in between or probably after next episode is I will do that. I'll leave my account on for literally like 24 hours and we'll see how effective it is because I'm genuinely curious to see the results and how like overpowered it would be. Obviously, most of the time, it's going to be more effective to actually be mining. But if you're not going to be mining and you are, for example, going to sleep, is it like worth it to actually leave your account on? Because obviously, we do get our like robot income, which isn't too bad either. But uh, it'll be interesting to see whether if we double up the robot income with the actual AFK miner income, like what, what does it look like? You know, how, how much are we actually going to be getting realistically? Also, since I got to mine the blocks to 300,000 anyway, I thought we might as well grind up. Oh my goodness, something just hit. Frozen Gorge just hit twice. I was going to say we might as well grind up to get the 50 million gems that we needed to max out black hole but frozen gorge double proccing just there literally just took us all the way up you guys can see how overpowered that enchant is <laughs> so we can now max out black hole there we go which i believe was the enchant we needed to upgrade our mortar again if i'm correct uh, let's see if that is the case yes it is we can go ahead and upgrade the ammo quality to five we can do five as well um, and then we need Alien Strike. We don't have that one. And it looks like we got a Battle Pass tier up as well, all the way up to uh, 53, which means we're now one tier away. Just one tier away from that, which is huge. Um, we can't do any of the other rank ups or fixes yet. We need a treasure, a couple of treasure finder procs to get our fire rate upgraded, which would be cool. But yes, those blocks mined are coming in fast. And uh, I actually can't believe how much gems that Frozen Gorge gave me. I was just looking over to the right-hand side of my gems and they just absolutely flew up. So huge upgrades today. Very, very vital and needed upgrades. But guys, I think that is going to be where I go ahead and end off this episode. I've got some blocks to mine. Just another 15,000 and we'll be there with the huge mortar upgrade. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you do go ahead and enter that giveaway by liking, commenting, subscribing and joining the giveaways only Discord. But yes, that is going to be it for me today. I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC.